Thank you for joining us for Real Estate in the Low Country. I'm your host, Betsy McDaniel. As always, we have an excellent lineup today, but first, a few headlines. According to recent housing forecasts, the recent plunge in mortgage rates may help the market for home loans surge to a 14-year high. Over the past month, rates have posted their biggest drop in a decade. The rate decline has enticed more home buyers to enter the market, with applications jumping 18.6% last week as buyers rush to lock in lower financing costs. $1.2 trillion in home lending is predicted this year, which would make it the best year since 2005. The owners of the Hilton Head National Golf Club received unanimous approval from the Beaufort County Design Review Board to move forward with a 92-acre luxury RV park on part of the 306-acre property. As previously reported, the park is planned for the northwest corner of Hilton Head National and Bluffton Parkway and would include 300 high-end RV stalls and many amenities. Still needed is a permit from the Department of Health and Environmental Control for the water and wastewater part of the plan. Once the project is underway, it is expected to take 16 to 18 months to complete. The Triangle Square Strip Mall on Matthews Drive has been home to many landmark businesses since 1979, but now all of those businesses have just 45 days to close up shop or move to a new location. Business owners have been told they're being moved because Public Storage, the business that owns the property and the storage facility behind the shops, is going to convert the stores into more storage units. Among the businesses being displaced are the Barber Shop, which has been in that spot for 32 years, Healthy Habit, Pan Fresco Olay, Parks Auto Shop, Low Country Mercantile, Nail Tech, Good Health Unlimited, and Express Walk. The owner of the barbershop plans to move the, to Berkeley Place in Bluffton, and a sign on the door of Low Country Mercantile says they will be moving across the street to Northridge Plaza in June. No word on plans for any of the other businesses, and Public Storage has yet to make a formal announcement of their plans. Check out the media sources on your screen for more information on these and other stories, and check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. Much more after the break, so please stay with us.